When it comes to winning trophies, Arsenal stands among the top-tier teams in Europe. In its long history, it has experienced both highs and lows. But more recently, Arsenal finds itself going through a trophy drought. Fans have a simple question. Does Mikel Arteta have what it takes to take Arsenal to the top position in the Premier League next season? In this video, I'm going to take you on a journey through Arsenal's rich history, exploring their past season. Watch it till the end to know what future may have in store for Arteta and his men. You wouldn't want to miss anything. So here we go. With over 100 million fans worldwide, they are one of the most popular clubs in the world. They are also a successful club in English football, winning 13 Premier League titles, and that's a lot. In addition to their league victories, Arsenal holds the record for the most FA Cup wins, winning it 14 times. If compared with other clubs, they are the third most successful club in English football history. In terms of the number of trophies, they have won. If you think that the trophy cabinet of Arsenal is impressive, just wait until you go deep into the history of the club. Arsenal FC has a rich heritage. More interesting part about its history is that it was established by the blacksmith workers who were involved in the manufacturing of cannons at the factory. This unique connection to weaponry gave birth to its nickname, the Gunners. Isn't it interesting? Arsenal began its journey in 1889 and it was initially named Dial Square by the workers who founded it. Arsenal didn't really succeed in its early years until a new leader took over, Herbert Chapman. In 1925, Chapman was appointed as the club manager and the rest, as they say, is history. The new manager at Arsenal was visionary. He improved the club's training methods and also made changes to Arsenal's traditional 2-3-5 formation. With these changes, Arsenal was ready to win trophies. In the next 10 years, Gunners would go on to win five league titles and two FA Cup trophies under Chapman. Their successful run continued after the World War II. Arsenal won the league title in 1948 and 1953, and the FA Cup in 1950. But after that, Arsenal didn't win any trophies for 17 years. Can you believe it? With the appointment of Arsene Wenger in 1994, the game improved even more. Under Arsene Wenger, Arsenal became an attacking team. The French manager included in the team goal-scoring players like Robert Perez, Patrick Vieira, and Thierry Henry. Between 1996 and 2018, Arsenal claimed three league titles and seven FA Cups under Wenger. In the last decade, however, Arsenal has been struggling to make an impact. It was the missing trophies that resulted in the departure of Arsene Wenger in 2018 in the first place. Fans were asking tough questions like the club's capability to make a comeback. Fast forward to the 2022-2023 season, Arsenal did make a comeback, and what's more, it was on fire. I'm saying this because they showed a spark that had been missing in them for a long time. Under the guidance of Mikel Arteta, the team seemed invincible for the better part of the season. Arsenal was dreaming of lifting the Premier League, but Manchester City dashed their dreams in the penultimate stage of the season. But nevertheless, it was a season filled with excitement, progress, and promise for the Gunners. So what made Arteta's side in the recent season so good? Well, to begin with, the core of the team consisted of young players. It brought in with it an epic energy that stunned everyone. Speaking of youngsters, doing wonders for Arsenal, how can we forget Bukayo Saka? The 21-year-old forward has impressed with his performance and established himself as one of the Premier League's top talents. He scored 14 goals and provided 11 assists in 28 league games. If you have watched Arsenal dream run in the previous season, you know that Saka played a huge role in Arsenal's success. Apart from Saka, there are other players who also make their mark, like Alexander Zinchenko. We all know that Arteta is a disciple of Pep Guardiola, and like his teacher, he wants his team to play tiki-taka and possession-based football. For his system to work, Arteta needed solid midfielders. And Zinchenko did an amazing job for his boss. Playing as a left-back, he controlled Arsenal's midfield for the most part of the season. In my opinion, if Zinchenko hadn't been injured by the end of the season, Arsenal could have lifted the Premier League trophy. And I'm not kidding. Another player that made a mark in this season is Granit Xhaka. Last season, there were talks of Saka leaving the Emirates, with Jose Mourinho eager to bring him to Roma, and the Arsenal fans were happy about him leaving the club. Why did Arsenal fans hate Saka? 
Well, he has all the talent in the world, but he was not as mentally strong as his fans wanted him to be. Apart from that, he would also lose his position easily. It's because of these weaknesses that Arsenal used to be exposed at the back. Because of his mistakes, Arsenal used to get exposed and conceded goals. When Mourinho showed his interest to take him to Roma, fans were relieved. But the move didn't materialize somehow, and since then, Zaka has let his game do the talking. Let me provide you with examples of his brilliant performance in this season. His passing completion rate stands at around 88%, and he scored 7 goals and provided 4 assists. Zaka is enjoying a dreamy comeback, don't you think? Let's give him credit where it's due. All his improvement is owed to Arteta, who helped him understand his role better in the team. Now that the next season is just around the corner, will the Arteta men be able to sustain their form and help bring Premier League trophy home this time? Well, the chances of Arsenal winning the trophy in the upcoming season looks bright. Let me remind you, Arsenal impressed in the last season and finishing second in the Premier League? Wow. In the previous season, Arteta made some wise choices when it comes to signing players. He bought to Emirates players like Gabriel Jesus, Fabio Vieira, and Zinchenko. All have the potential to make a solid impact on the team in the future. It's not just about the new signing, players like Bukayo Saka and Martinelli also have an opportunity in the upcoming seasons to shine and become top football players. With Mikel Arteta at the helm, Arsenal is expected to play solid attacking football, and we all have seen glimpses of Arteta in the last season being a genius when it comes to tactics. They can not only win the Premier League but also make life difficult for teams facing them in the Champions League. What's more important is that Arteta has a plan for the 2023-24 season. In order to compete with teams like Manchester City, Arsenal needs to be at its best and Arteta is aware of that. That's why he has already asked his players to return to their club to begin tough fitness regimes ahead of the season. In an attempt to try and help his team succeed in the 2023-24 campaign, Arteta is also buying new players and for instance, Kai Havertz has been signed from Chelsea. Declan Rice's, the West Ham captain, transfer to Arsenal is on the cards and the same is the case with the Dutch defender, Jurian Timber. With the tough training regime and inclusion of new names into the team, Arsenal is a contender for the Premier League trophy in the upcoming season. Overall, Arsenal's future prospects are looking quite good. The talented squad with Arteta at the helm can do wonders if they get a little bit of luck. And we all know what they are capable of. If Arsenal continue to improve, they will be a serious force in English football for many years to come. That was it for this video, guys. Here's a question for you. Will Arsenal win the Premier League trophy in the next season, or will they struggle to recreate the magic of the previous season? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.